guys, welcome back. Today we are gonna decorate my woodland tree in our nook. And I'm also going to take you through the process of me decorating the nook and all the Christmas decor. Everything you see is gonna come down, <laughs> even everything on the walls. So I'm gonna get that all transferred over, but I did wanna show you um, before what it looks like and after. And we do live in an 1850s farmhouse. And when we bought it, they had just enclosed their brick patio, which we rehabbed and remodeled. It was a year and a half process. It was it was long, but well worth it. So, I mean, we put in like the built-in bench and the built-in bookcase. And back there in the, behind the doors is laundry. And then if you go in and turn to the right, we have dry storage. But anywho, I wanted to show you what it looks like every day throughout the year it has a bird theme which I wanted to do that because we have so many windows and we are surrounded by trees so it's beautiful in the summertime and right now all, all the leaves are falling off of course but yeah so I'm going to give you an idea of what it looks like and then I'll go through after afterwards once everything's set up but there's the tree we're going to be working on and that goes out to the backyard and we park in the back. We use the back door every day. We don't even use the front door. And the double doors here go into the kitchen. And it makes it really nice. The cats aren't allowed out here. I have the door open because I'm filming. Um, and it makes a nice holding area for Maggie for when it's muddy. I can get her paws wiped off and everything before I let her into the actual house part. But yeah, so that is what I'm working on today. So let's get started on the tree. Okay, I wanted to show you the tree before I actually start putting everything on it. Um, the tree I got at Walmart probably about three or four years ago, but they do still have it. So I'm gonna insert a picture of the tree box in case you're interested. It is a four foot flocked tree. Um, actually flocked, I didn't try to DIY this one, but it is unlit. and. That doesn't bother me because if you've watched my other videos, I put extra lights on all my trees. So that didn't bother me at all. And this tree, I put four strands of lights on and they're clear lights. And I did put a galvanized tree color on it. I do have some galvanized ornaments to kind of incorporate the tree colors, it kind of matches. But I did use blanket snow and I kind of shoved up in the top of the tree color. Um, with the tree, I mean, it is only $30 and it is a pretty tree, but it, it still can be like a little bit fuller. So when you walk by, you could see the tree stand down there. So I just kind of tucked the blanket snow to cover that up a little bit. I think it turned out really well. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to spin you around and show you everything I put on there. Um, for the garland, this, this one I'm doing a ribbon. It's a burlap ribbon. And I'm not doing the ribbon how I did it on my peppermint tree where I'm going in and tying and all that complication. No, this is just going to go around. So pretty simple. And for the tree topper, because all my trees have different toppers. And this one is going to have a bow. And the bow is burlap as well. So it'll match all the ribbon when we get it on there. So yeah, I'm going to spin you around and show you everything that's going to go on there. Okay, so we are going to use um, these picks, which are just like frosted berries all over the tree. And I do, I did want like pops of red and then I wanted the red kind of muted for this room, if that makes sense. I didn't want like the bright red and green, like traditional, since I'm doing a like woodland theme. And then I have a lot of red cardinals in the other decor that's gonna go in here. So yeah, I kind of wanted like a deep maroon. Again, I don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> it did in my head. <laughs> but so these are all the ornaments that are going to go on there. I have a lot of cardinals and birds. I do have some owls and deer and squirrels, which honestly, on a daily basis, I'm dealing with all these animals outside. And our owl is back right now. I might see if I'm, I just took a picture of him last out in our backyard and he gets really close and he's even on the ground. I don't know if he's trying to find the moles, but you know, we have groundhogs and deer, squirrels, possums. But then again, we also have coyotes and 
snakes for a thing, but that's another story. Okay, completely off subject. <laughs> yeah, so I wanted to do the woodland theme and kind of transfer over, and he's eating my ribbon, and transfer the like everyday bird theme into my Christmas decor, I'm sorry. And this is the burlap ribbon that I'm using. And this is the burlap bow that will go on as the tree topper. Now, when I decided I wanted to do a, a bow for the topper, I went back to, I got all the ribbon at, at home. I went back to get more burlap ribbon to make the bow and they actually had one already made. And it was $10 and completely worth it in my book so I didn't have to sit there and mess with it. So yeah, and they do still have it because um, I was at home like a week ago and I saw them there. But yeah, so and apparently Bo is going to help me in his own way. So I'm going to get all this on the tree. she is done and I meant to put the tree topper the bow I put it on last and every year I tell myself I need to remember to put it on while I'm putting the ribbon wrapping the ribbon around the tree it's not a huge deal it's just when I put it on last the little the ribbon that hangs down right there it covers up ornaments and I have to go back in and move stuff around again not a huge deal it's just I crack myself up every year. Jenny put that on when you put the ribbon and every year I space it, but that's the only thing I would do differently. Yeah, so she's all done. So I'm going to pack up the rest of this room and bring out the rest of the decor. the decor taken down from the nook and I brought up the Christmas stuff and the first thing I'm going to do is work on my floral but I wanted to show you guys exactly what I'm using because everything's from the Dollar Tree. They have really nice Christmas floral. I've had mine for several years but I pack it away and it's held up fine but I see the same thing every year so I wanted to show you and they have like this scent has five to five or six different flowers on it are not different flowers are all the same but five or six flowers and then we have like the pine cones with the berries and they also have just stems with all the berries and the most exciting thing are these picks with the cardinals i was so excited when i found these they're so pretty and again if you go to at hobby or at home at hobby <laughs> Hobby Lobby or at home store. These are gonna be like four to six dollars for just one of these. And then they have this one, he's a little bit more glittery. But yeah, so they have all different kinds, but that's all I use in my centerpiece and it, I think it turned out really well. So I just wanna let you guys know about that before I go on and I forgot. So I'm gonna get working on this and then get started on the rest.
are finally done. It's several days later. It took me a little bit. I actually should say I'm 99.9% .9 done. We cannot find this picture that goes here. I ordered a different one, but it won't be here till next week. We couldn't find it last year and I kept thinking it was going to turn up and this year still cannot find it. So I don't know how you lose a whole picture, but we did. So hopefully they'll get here this week and get that up. And then at the end, once I have every single room decorated, I will do a whole house tour so you can see that when it comes. But here we have, and if I can remember where things came from, I'll let you know, but honestly, we've had some of this stuff for years and years. I doubt places still have it. We have some squirrels. I love the peace and joy sign with the cardinals. Got a birdhouse. And then Santa I picked up at Kohl's on clearance several years ago. It's a great time to get Christmas decor. And this big guy right here, we got um, at Kirkland's. And I was on their website the other day when I was looking for the other picture. They still have this, so. And that little have a merry little Christmas sign. That was from the Dollar Tree, which amazes me. They have really good stuff. And for a dollar, you can't beat it. So, and then here we have this Santa. I think he's adorable. And then we have one of our villages here. We set up a couple. I'll get all the houses on there and then hubby goes through and does all the electrical and wiring and stuff for me. But yeah, these like these two houses at the end, we purchased those at garage sales, another great place for Christmas decor. And then right here, this train station, this was the very first piece we purchased probably about 15 years ago and it was $7 at Old Time Pottery. So I doubt they still have it, but it's cute. That was our very first piece we bought together. And then here are the clock tower and the ice skating rink. I know those are from Menards. They carry, it's that brand Lamax. I believe that's how you pronounce that, L-E-M-A-X. But they carry that and they have really pretty pieces. And we had to get that one because it looks like Maggie up close. <laughs> and then this picture up here is from Kirkland's as well. I love how the lights light up in the window. I think that's cute. And then hubby had to have a Santa hat for <laughs> Mr. Bird up there. Oh, sorry. Our light is automatic. Just went off. There we go. <laughs> and then over here... This is just different decor we purchased throughout the years. A lot of cardinals, some owls. And then the new purchase this year is the garland on the back of the bench. We got that at Menards and it's pre-lit. It was flocked with the pine cones. I did go through and add the berries so it would match the Christmas tree. It turned out really well. And then this, I know I kind of showed you the centerpiece before, but the ornaments that I used at the bottom for the filler, those also came from Dollar Tree. And I want to say it was like probably about 10 bulbs per pack. That turned out cute. So yeah, the whole centerpiece <laughs> came from the Dollar Tree. We just have some ice skates up there, snowman. And then the tree, which you guys have seen. And I love the woodland theme out here. I think it turned out really well. And then down there, I just have a little burlap sack. Kind of hides the cords a little too. That ties in with the burlap ribbon. And then we also have red cardinal doormat. So yeah. That is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You can like and subscribe and follow along. The next room I'm doing, I should say rooms, is going to be the kitchen and the dining room. And I'm hoping to get that done this week. So I'm pretty excited for that. I'm doing a, a sleigh like on my fireplace and Santa Claus. So 
yeah, I can't wait to get started on that. That's going to be the first year I'm doing that. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.